Well, we're looking in our morning check-ins right now at what we're calling Easter the sequel. You know, the Bible says that Jesus is the first fruit of resurrection. That means many more will follow. Jesus was the first one to be resurrected, never to die again. We who know Jesus will follow. That's what Paul's talking about in 1 Thessalonians 4. Now, he writes it because there's a problem. The church at Thessalonica are uninformed when it comes to what happens to a believer when they die. That's why he said in verse 13, we looked at it yesterday, we don't want you to be uninformed, brethren, about those who are asleep, who have died, so that you will not grieve as do the rest who have no hope. That's what was happening in Thessalonica. They were in a constant state of mourning, fearing that those who had already died missed out on the rapture. They missed out on what's going to happen. Their bodies are gone forever. And Paul says, no, 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 that's not the case. Now, he's going to, beginning in verse 14, now that he's addressed the problem, give us the proof. Listen to what he says. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. Now, let me point out a couple things. Notice the security of the dead in Christ. It says they will be part of a future resurrection. And it's based on this. He says, if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, that we can have assurance, so will believers who have died. Now, that word if... When we see it, we go, well, maybe it is, maybe it's not. That's not the wording in the Greek language. It's actually a word that shows certainty. You could translate it this way. If we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and we certainly do, even so, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. It's a guarantee. The guarantee that those believers who have died, that their bodies will be resurrected, the guarantee of that is in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It all goes back to the resurrection of Jesus. And because we believe that Jesus died and rose again, we can believe with certainty that those believers who have died before us, their bodies will be resurrected. In fact, not only is there security in it, there's significance. Look at verse 15. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord. Okay, that's as good as it gets, folks. That means you can bank on it. It says that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord, those of us who don't die, we're alive when Jesus returns. It says we will not precede those who have fallen asleep. In other words, not only will the dead in Christ, their bodies be resurrected, they'll be resurrected first. They'll get priority even before we who are alive and remain are caught up together to be with them. Folks, there is great certainty because Jesus died and rose again. So will every believer who has died. I hope you'll take time to share this on your Facebook page to encourage your Facebook friends. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this great promise. Because Christ died and rose again, we know that those who have died in Christ, their bodies will also be resurrected. It's in the bank. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great day today, and I hope you'll be back again tomorrow for another morning check-in.